Welcome to the NACIC World Podcast. The objective of the NACIC World Podcast is to uplift, inspire, motivate, and to encourage personal growth and introspection. The human spirit is a flame that can be neglected, ignored, and covered up, but it can also be nurtured, nursed, and fanned to create a mighty fire. The NACIC World Podcast, fan the flame of your spirit. Here is your host, RJ. Welcome back, and it's so nice to be with you once again on Naked World Podcast. In the previous podcast episode, Think Big, I mentioned a quote from Napoleon Hill in his 1937 book, Think and Grow Rich. The quote was, Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. You know, your mindset plays a critical role in how you cope with life's challenges. Your mindset is your collection of thoughts and beliefs that shape your thought habits. And your thought habits affect how you think, what you feel, and what you do. Your mindset impacts how you make sense of the world and how you make sense of you. Your mindset is a big deal. Because they are related to mindset, it also helps to understand attitude and beliefs. According to Tony Robbins, a belief is simply a feeling of certainty about something. For example, if you believe that you're intelligent, all you are really saying is, I feel certain that I'm intelligent. The basic building blocks of beliefs are ideas. Beliefs are like a tabletop, if I can put it that way. As you build references and experiences, you add legs to your tabletop. When your idea feels certain, It becomes a belief. That's why it's so important to know what your beliefs are based on. Because your beliefs shape your attitude. But your attitude also shapes your beliefs. Your beliefs shape your mindset. And mindset is defined in mindset.com. Mindsets are those collection of beliefs and thoughts that make up the mental attitude, inclination, habit or disposition that predetermines a person's interpretation and responses to events, circumstances, and situations, end quote. Mindset is the key element that determines whether someone is going to fail or succeed in life. Your life is created by the choices you make every single day. If you choose to develop a growth mindset, it will lead you to success, wealth, and great fortune. So, our topic today is develop a growth mindset. NACIC World Podcast, broadcasting all over the world. You are listening to NACIC World Podcast. If you are serious about making money online from home, then visit smmenterprisesonline.com. smmenterprisesonline.com. Stanford psychologist Dr. Carol Dweck and author of Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, identify two types of mindsets. Firstly, growth mindset and fixed mindset. Dr. Dweck further demonstrated that in predicting success, it doesn't matter whether someone is gifted or not. What matters is a person's belief that they can succeed and prevail. The person who doesn't succeed is often blocked by a fixed mindset. That is, a mindset that assumes abilities and talents are given, limited, and minimally subject to improvement. So a person who has a fixed mindset assumes that your talents and abilities are limited. This person believes that they were born with certain qualities, both positive and negative, and that they are largely fixed throughout life. While they usually recognize the value of training and education when it comes to raising their horizons and imagining a bold and strikingly different future, it's often just beyond them. A growth mindset, on the other hand, is one in a constant state of flux and at work improving, expanding and honing all inherent talents and gifts as as well as adding to and improving those acquired along the way. Those of us with a growth mindset, can, with time, effort and practice, acquire 
and improve skills and abilities to accomplish things previously thought impossible. With a real growth mindset, you don't just believe this, you live it. Now, what are the benefits of having a growth mindset? Those with a growth mindset are more likely to embrace challenges, use feedback, and learn from failures and mistakes rather than dwell on them. Someone with a growth mindset will enjoy learning new things. They will therefore accept challenges, persist, and be driven to achieve their goals. This can help people be more creative because they are more likely to persistently pursue solutions. With a focus on bettering oneself rather than protecting oneself, someone with a growth mindset will not feel threatened by the intelligence and success of others. Instead, they will be more likely to admire others, learn from them and find inspiration in their successes. You know, Dr. Dweck further states that the growth mindset embraces challenges and views failure not as evidence of unintelligence, but as a heartening springboard for growth and for stretching our existing abilities. Those are the words of Dr. Dweck. It therefore goes without saying that everyone should strive for a growth mindset. NACAC World Podcast. Broadcasting all over the world. You are listening to NACAC World Podcast. Are you interested in doing an online tourism business course? Visit tourismbusinessonline.com, tourismbusinessonline.com. Every human being wants to achieve success, wealth, and great fortune in life. But unfortunately, most people don't know how to get it. Growth mindset is the key to success, wealth, and everything you want in life. So let us look at the steps which can help you to acquire growth mindset. Firstly, you need to be curious. Because curiosity will lead you to a growth mindset because it will allow you to learn new things every day and grow more as compared to most people. Those seeking change must be curious. Marvel at how much you don't know. Get used to this feeling. Not knowing is not a reason for fear or shame, but for excitement. Flow up on it by asking questions and seeking more information. So, firstly, you need to be curious. You need to want to learn. Secondly, Look at failure as a learning opportunity. Now, sometimes we all face setbacks and failures in life, but how we choose to respond to failure determines the level of success we are going to achieve. Allow yourselves to fail. Every failure is a stepping stone on the path to success. The biggest difference between successful and unsuccessful people is the way they respond to failure. Unsuccessful people choose to stop after a few setbacks and failures just because of having a fixed mindset. They believe that they are not capable of doing it. However, successful people learn from setbacks and failure because they believe that they need to learn another way of doing things. Successful people develop a growth mindset and they believe failure is a part of success and growth. Otherwise, they won't be able to learn what works and what doesn't work. So, firstly, curiosity, the need and the desire to learn. And secondly, Learn from failure, failure. Embrace failure. And now thirdly, believe in yourself and believe you can do whatever you set out to do. Convince yourself you are capable of all the change you need. Confidence comes when you believe in yourself, even when others are doubting you. Believing in yourself can take you to an extraordinary level. So the best thing you can do for yourself is believe in yourself even when others are doubting. So, curiosity... Learning from failure, believe in yourself. And then, use the power of yet. You know, what does it mean? Integrating the word yet into your vocabulary signals that despite any struggles, you can overcome anything. It's just a matter of time and little effort. Whenever you struggle with a task, just tell yourself that you haven't mastered it yet. The word yet is the most powerful thing you can use to develop a growth mindset. When you will start using the power of yet, you will start to grow your mindset as well. So to summarize the steps which can help you to acquire a growth mindset. Firstly, be curious. Want to learn. Look at failure as a learning opportunity. Allow yourself to fail. Second. Thirdly, believe in yourself and believe you can do it. And lastly, use the power of yet. 
use yet and say, I have not yet mastered it whenever you fail. You are listening to Nakik World Podcast. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Firstly, it's free. Secondly, there are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Thirdly, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and many more. Fourthly, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Lastly, it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. A growth mindset is necessary for success. You will never find anyone succeeding with a fixed mindset. You must have a growth mindset to achieve anything you want in life. A growth mindset is something you can come back to over and over again, remembering your ultimate goals, staying open and receptive to growing and learning new skills. Mindsets are not just important for learning new skills. They can affect the way that we think about everything. For example, a growth mindset can help you recover from illness because you believe that you can do something about the illness. They can help you to achieve in sport, at work, and also help you grow and develop in the relationships. Cultivating a growth mindset could be the single most important thing you ever do to help you achieve success. So start today and cultivate, develop a growth mindset. That brings us to the end of this episode. Please keep on fanning the flame of your spirit. Please like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and podcast platforms. Send your emails to podcast at anaseainchina.com. Nakik World Podcast is broadcasted twice weekly, every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m., Beijing time. Until next time, please stay safe and be blessed. Till we meet again.